All right, here we go. Question number six from our 1316 homework number four in my lab math. They want us to use a calculator to solve the equation on the interval from zero to two pi. So that means within one revolution of the unit circle, we're going to be looking for y coordinates of point 41. Okay, now notice that point 41, that's not a y coordinate in the unit circle, and that's why they tell us to use a calculator. So we know that in the unit circle, sine is y, and I'm saying that just so you know that we're going to be looking at y in a second. To get that first answer super easy, we're just going to move the sine to the other side. Anytime you take a trig function across the equal sign, it turns into inverse trig function. So that's going to turn into inverse sine, which I can then input in the calculator. Inverse sine of point 41. And we're going to get our first answer. Now this is in radians because my calculator is in radian mode. Our first radian angle, if I round it to two decimal places like they asked for, is going to be 0 0.42 radians. Okay, that is my first answer. Now the question is, is there another solution between 0 and 2 pi that also satisfies this equation? Well, let's see. Now, Go back, remember I said that we're looking for y because we're doing sine theta, and notice that this answer is positive. So in the unit circle, where do we have positive y coordinates? Well, that's going to be number one and two. Quadrant one and quadrant two have positive y coordinates. This first radian angle that we found, that is our quadrant one angle. Okay, so if I sketch that out here, and again, I don't know exactly where it is. I'm just saying somewhere out here in quadrant one, we're going to have a radian angle of, what was it, 0.42. And then since the second quadrant also has po uh, positive y coordinates, there will be an equivalent angle. What, what I mean by equivalent is it's going to have the same reference angle as quadrant one, okay? This would also be 0.42 degrees down to the x-axis. That will also produce the same positive value of 0.41. So then the question becomes, how do I figure out what this second quadrant angle is? Can you see it? If I start at zero and go to here, that's going to be 0.42 away from pi. If I go again, if I go to this, whatever this theta is, if I add 0.42 to it, it'll get me to pi. So then the way I figure out that angle, that second angle, I'm going to take pi and subtract 0.42. I hope that makes sense. If I'm at pi and I back up, if I take off 0.42 from pi, then it's going to get me that angle theta. And then I can put that in the calculator also. So pi minus 0.42. Again, the leading zero is optional. And I need to round that to two decimal places. That's going to be 2.72. Radians would be my second angle. And notice there are going to be only two solutions because we're restricted from zero to two pi. And the only quadrants that have positive y values our quadrants one and two. So those are our two values. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the calculator and verify for sure. So if I do the sine of 0.42, if this angle is really a solution, then it should give me approximately 
0.41 as an answer. And notice that that will round to 0.41. Okay, then I'm going to check the second angle. Again, if I do sine of theta, which is 2.72, if that angle is correct, it should give me 0.41 approximately. And again, that does, and if you're wondering why isn't it exact, it's because these angles, remember we had to round them off, so these are estimated. So this is going to be an estimate of 0.41. It's going to be really close. And so now we have those two angles verified. 0 0.42, don't forget your comma, and 2.72. And I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.